it's Camille and today I am filming a very exciting video because I wanted to do this hair color combination for so long and I don't know why I kept putting it off because I was in like a pastel phase but I am ready to get out of that. This is a throwback to my most viewed video which is kind of what I'm known for. That girl that did the half pink, half neon green yogurt hair. Most of the people that recognize me in real life recognize me from that video and you guys liked it so much so I figured that I would do another half and half one because I've also only ever done it once so I'm ready to get back into those vivid colors and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I do it. So step one, subscribe to my channel. Okay, so real step one, you want to have your hair bleached and ready for coloring. So I just released a video on how I bleached my hair like this, which is the best bleaching tutorial I've ever made because I've been doing this for seven years now and throughout those seven years of dyeing my hair, I've tried different products, different methods, different times to process, different, like different everything. I've tried all of the variables and seven years later, I have come up with the best way to bleach my hair from dark to light with the lightest outcome and the least amount of damage. So if you guys need to bleach your hair before you're doing a color, the link is down below. And I'm also doing warm colors on my hair. So I didn't tone it, which you can see it has slight yellow undertones. And that's because if you are going to be doing a warm color, there's no need to tone it cooler and then do a warm color because you want to do as few processes on your hair as possible. So next, you want to part your hair down the center because this is a half and half hair tutorial. So I've tried my best to do that. I think I'm going to try a little bit harder though. Um, my hair looks like this because it's been in buns and I like to do that so it is easier to work with but this does not reflect my real curls. So I'm taking my hair out and because I cannot find a single one of my rat tooth combs, I have no idea. I had like eight of them but they were probably eaten with my socks in the washing machine or something. But I have this that I'm going to be using instead. This is just a regular um, hair dye brush but it ends with a point so that's really good for sectioning off hair. So I'm starting at my widow's peak because that's kind of like the center of my head. Um, kind of Dracula looking but it's a recessive trait so that makes me special statistically. So I'm starting at that point and then I'm doing my best to go oh no I'm gonna do my best to go exactly straight. Come on, Camille, you can do this. You did this when you were a teenager. You're 23 now. You can do this. You got this, Chameleon. Got it. Yes. That's straight. That is straight. Amazing. I do have slight routage going on because I did bleach my hair about a week ago, but that makes this tutorial more authentic because in my last video, I also had a little bit of routage going on because I waited too long to put the color in. But you know what? Nobody's perfect. And that's a quote from a very wise woman. Now that you have the part, you're gonna put one side in a scrunchie to keep it out of the way. And just to make sure that this is actually straight, instead of asking for a second opinion, I'm just gonna look on my phone. And I'm gonna make a video of the back of my head. So let's see. This is my part. Hoping this is straight. All right, let's see. And that is good enough. Also, I'm doing two colors that are very similar. So it's not black and white where you'd have to be like a billion percent precise, but I also did the best that I could and I know there's going to be a little bit of bleeding over when I am showering and the colors get wet. So I don't really mind if it's not perfect, but it is definitely like an A minus for this part. Okay, so I did a lot of research on the different colors that I wanted. So I'm kind of paying tribute to that fashion trend where you see like a beautiful deep bright pink with an orange of the same like depth 
but I think it's just such a beautiful color combination that otherwise I wouldn't have put together. So I checked out a bunch of different brands of dyes and what I did was cut off a little bit of my hair and I tested it on all of the different colors because I wanted to see what colors would show up best on the base that I'm working with. And I wanted really pigmented colors. And also you can't always tell from just looking at them in the bottle. So I like to test on my actual hair over white paper towels so you can really truly see what color you're working with. So after lots of consideration, the two dyes that I decided to use are the Clairol Flare Me Turn Their Heads Red. And this is not red, this is orange. <laughs> I don't know what they were talking about, but once you swatch it, then you can see the true color. And that's why I always test out the real color on paper towel or on my hair. So this is the orange that I'm gonna be using. And I really like that it comes out like black. Like you can see how much pigment is in there because other oranges, like unfortunately the arctic fox one which i was expecting a lot more out of is just really like clear and diluted so always double check on that and then the pink that i'm using is by this brand called sparks i've never used this brand yet so this is going to be my first rendezvous but i can update you guys later and let you know how this color holds up and this one is in magenta mania so obviously this is the pink that I'm using. And then of course I'm wearing the hair dye shirt. I hope you guys all have one. I should come out with a hair dye shirt merch. That would be kind of cool. But I love this shirt. I've been wearing it every single time I do my hair. It collects bleach, it collects color, and it's just like a masterpiece to look at. I love just having this. Okay, so this is the hard part now. Pink and orange or pink and orange? I don't really know. How do people decide which color goes on which side? I'm feeling like this might be the orange side. Yeah, I, mm, maybe. I feel like it doesn't make sense this way. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with this. Okay, everything is together now. <sighs> we're gonna do this. Turn their heads red by Clairol Professional. Again, not red. It's orange. And I'm finally going to be using my favorite tools for this hair dye video because I'm not using bleach which has a lot of chemicals in it and I'm not using a hair dye that has peroxide in it these don't have any reactions going on and they're safe to put on your hands don't quote me on that I'm not a professional I don't want to be sued they're safe to put on my hands that's mine only on off be looks hands but I do love doing my hair with just my hands. I love how it stains. I love that I can wipe it on the shirt and get a bit more color on there. Whoa, this looks blacker than Akon. But you can see while it's dripping down my hand, you can already see that it leaves like an orange residue. Whoa, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm putting like tar on my head. Imagine if my camera cut out right now. <laughs> all right, all right, we can do this. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Wow, I did that, I did that, whoa. <laughs> okay, this is orange. I knew this wasn't gonna be black. So I'm just going to use my hands and just put it in. I wanna saturate this evenly without getting it on my couch. Don't do this on your couch, especially if it's not your couch, if it's like your parents' couch or something, I would advise against it. But I am a grown woman, so this is my couch. I'm starting at the part because I wanna go wild later. So if I just get the stuff near the part done properly, then I can do that. Yo, these roots are making this job so much easier. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get these little baby hairs in there because babies are people too. This is fire, and not just because fire is orange. I'm shooting on a new camera right now, guys, and I am really excited. I saved up for like 40 years to buy this so I hope you guys enjoy the quality and comment down below what you think about it 
um, as well as the audio because my friends be telling me that my audio is bad. So I upgraded. So guys better notice a difference. Wow. Why am I even doing this? Let's go. Let's go, chameleonaire. Let's go, chameleon. <laughs> I love when my friends call me chameleon. Like, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then you can just... When you don't want it on your hands. Okay, so, so far, this is like maybe half of the tube is squeezed out at this point. Um, if I have any left over, which I suspect I might, then it will be really useful for doing touch-ups once the dye starts fading. So either that or I'm just gonna buy another one of this color. Or just let it fade out. Who knows? Nobody ever knows what's coming next. I don't tell you guys. Okay, so I'm doing the back all by feel. And I do have a margin of error because of my roots. So thank you, roots. Yo, can you guys tell Brad Mondo to roast me? He hasn't roasted, he's roasted so many people except for me. This top part is definitely good. Just gotta get underneath. I can't even believe this. My hair has not been anything like this color in so long. So this part, is pretty saturated. This is what it should look like when you're done applying the color. So you can totally see that every part is the same color and it won't come out patchy. I normally just finish a side and then flip it to the other side so I keep almost doing that just from muscle memory but don't do that because you'll ruin the other side. I also started with the orange because it's a lighter color and I feel like if I got a little bit on the other side it would still be okay. I really appreciate all of the nice things you guys have been saying to me lately on the internet. It really makes me happy. You guys are the reason that I smile. Okay, I might be using the whole tube. I'm so nervous that I'm gonna need more than one tube now. I also like to squeeze the chunks of hair once they're saturated just to make sure that everything is touching something. It looks like I murdered someone. <laughs> it's like I haven't done that in a while. Okay, I'm gonna focus more on the back side right now, which is great because I can't see it. Um, but. You know, if I was doing someone else's hair, I would absolutely not just like do everything by feel. But it's my hair, so it always turns out somehow. And I've never used these colors before, these dyes. So we're gonna see how vibrant they turn out. But based on the hair and paper towel test, these are definitely some pretty good contenders when it comes to vivid hair dyes. Okay, these are what my hands look like after washing them with soap. Um, my hair looks like pretty good, I would say. Time for round two. All right, so you're going to be using Sparks Long Lasting Bright Hair Color in the shade Magenta Mania. And this one is also a squeeze tube, so that's just a fact. I probably won't use the whole one of this because it is bigger. Um, it also seems easier to spread out, so that's nice. All right, on to Magenta Mania. Here we go. I should have taken my bun out before I got this on both of my hands. Come on, come on, Camille. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yep, I like this color. I can't believe I'm gonna look like a crazy head again. I miss those days. So I'm gonna do the same thing and just try to get everything that's near the roots done so then I can do the rest without having to worry about being super precise. This color is also similar to Hot Hot Pink by Manic Panic, which is the one that I used in my other hair tutorial, but I just like trying out different dyes because I wanna know how they work, and also I feel like 
as a YouTuber who does these tutorials, it's my job to try different brands and then show you guys what works and what doesn't, which is kind of unfortunate if it's a bad product and I use it on my hair, but at least you guys will know to avoid it. This dye is also way easier to spread out than the Clairol one. This one seems more watery and that one just seems like thick. Um, but you know, 2019, thick is a good thing. All right, hairline. All right, baby hairs. Don't forget the baby hairs because then you'll just have like weird little blonde hairs. Little hair. Why do I do that? <laughs> This one also feels mad conditioning. It feels like I actually have conditioner in my hair right now. You also have to make sure you get those roots because they be hiding sometimes. All right, hair, all right. Also, your roots are the first part to lighten because when you wash your hair and you like massage at your scalp, you're kind of just like um, the abrasion and the product fade the dye. So at this point, I think it looks good. I'm gonna put this into a bun and call out my mans to double check for me. Tyler, come here. Can you tell me if the back looks good? Mm -hmm. Oh no, why are you taking so long? No, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Can you take a video on my phone mm -hmm. and show me? And the viewers. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Am I missing any areas? Okay, actually, let's just see. Thank you. That looks great. Yeah, it does. That's muy perfecto. Nice job. Thank you. All right, the man's approves. I can wash my hands now. All right, so this is the final look before I let it process. I usually leave it in anywhere from like three hours to a day, but I don't feel like sleeping with a plastic bag on my head again, so I think I'm just gonna wash it out in about three hours and I will check back in with you guys. All right, so as I said earlier, you can leave this in for three hours up to like however long you want. And I was gonna wash it out, but then I got tired and then it's late at night and I don't wanna wash my hair and go to bed with it wet and then I'd have to redo it to style it anyways. So I'm just gonna go to bed with this in my hair. And of course, I'm going to wear my favorite hat to bed so I don't get anything on the pillowcase. And I'm also going to put a cloth on the pillowcase. So just in case anything gets stained, it's not actually my sheets. This is for Carpal Tunnel, by the way. It's from editing all these videos for you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my makeup off, go to bed, and then I'll rinse this out in the morning. Pretty much just rinse everything out. I'm not gonna shampoo, but I am using a conditioner from Diva Curl. It's their normal basic one, so it's just gonna soften my hair without getting rid of any of the color. And then style as usual. All right, so this is the finished look and I am so happy with it. I really like how the two colors come together and complement each other. And I love how rich this color is and that this is more of a burnt orange to kind of balance it out. I think this is perfect for me now because I feel like I'm a little bit too old to do two neon colors at a time. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of each of the colors because they definitely perform differently. And a lot of the time it's because of the pigment that's put into each of the dyes. So starting with the pink, I really like it. When I put it in and rinsed it out, it was so conditioning in my hair. It turned out very vibrant, as you can see, and it doesn't bleed. So very happy with that. Um, the orange, as I have said before, is so hard to find a good orange dye. And that's like regardless of brand, it's just really hard to make a good orange. And I've tried a whole bunch of them, not in love with any of them. I really like how this turned out when I rinsed it out and how it's like pretty pigmented compared to other ones I've tried. But my main issue with this is that it bleeds. 
which I guess makes it like a blood orange, but that's kind of pretentious. It's like that kind of blood orange. This is actually a gorgeous color. Mm -hmm. Blood orange, she's so pretentious. Shut up, it's red. But I know orange is hard to make regardless of brand, and I do like how it is right now, but when I say it bleeds, what I mean is that every time you get it wet, some of the color comes out. Like it will be a stream, including some of the orange, and that's what's gonna fade it really quickly. So I know this side isn't gonna last super long, but I really like how it looks right now, and I'm glad I tried out new products and got to share my results with you guys. So this is what my hair looks like after two washes. One was the initial one, getting the dye out, and then I did a deep conditioner, a keratin treatment, and then one wash. This one didn't bleed. This side bled until it dried, which is another cool thing. Like once it's dry, you can wear white clothes and it's fine. But anytime it's wet, forget about it. My hair is also like this for a photo shoot, so that's why I've had it curled around like a really skinny curling wand, and the curls look like this. I really love it how it's voluminous and just like a different type of curl. Um, but if you want to see how this color looks on my natural hair texture, you can follow me on Instagram and you can see pictures there. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my socials linked in the description box down below. Comment your thoughts on this hair look down below and let me know what you think. All right, I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you in the next one. Kisses. Mwah.